In this math tutorial, I'd like to talk about division and the basics of how we divide items or numbers into equal parts. First, let's have a look at the definition of division. Basically, we can say that division is splitting numbers into equal groups, meaning that we have equal or fair sharing. Let's have a look at the example. Now, it's very important that when we do division and we are new and young, it's best to create a story. Let's create a story. So let's name this dog Jesse, and we say that Jesse gave birth to a litter of eight puppies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight puppies. Along came Bridget and Jeremy, and they really, really wanted to adopt all the puppies, but they wanted to make sure that there won't be any unfairness, meaning that Jerry might have more puppies than Bridget. So they decided to divide the puppies into equal parts so that both will get the same amount of puppies. So Jeremy took one puppy, then Bridget took another puppy, then Jeremy had his chance again, then Bridget, and so on, until all the puppies were taken and none were left. And they saw that Jeremy now had four, and Bridget also had four puppies. So, they divided the eight puppies equally amongst each other. And because they were two that divided eight puppies, they each got four. This we can say, eight divided by two equals four. So, this looks quite easy to imagine when we have a story going, but how do we do it quicker? than having to create a visual story each time. Well, we can do it as follows. We are going to see the multiples. So we are going to use the divisor, and the divisor means that the, it is the amount of people or items or things that we divide the number into. And we are going to use it to keep count of the multiples of the divisor. So, for example, we have 10 divided by 2. We can create a little story to say that, okay, let's imagine we have 10 apples and we have to divide it into two boxes. So, our rule says that we have to use the divisor, which is 2, because it is divided by 2. It's a number divided by the divisor. So, we are going to use 2. And we are going to use the divisor to make multiples while keeping count of how many multiples we make. So we have our multiples, which will be the divisor, and we will have our count, which will be how many multiples we got out of the divisor. So we're going to say, if I use multiples of two, I know it's going to be two. So that's my first count. My next multiple of two will be four. So that's my second count. My next multiple will be six because I add two more. And now my count will be three. So this is the third time I made a multiple. Now I'm going to go to eight for my next multiple. And now my count is four. And finally, I'm going to get to 10, which is the number that it needs to be divided. And I will see that I have five counts of the multiples. So my answer then will be five. Ten divided by two or equally divided by two will equal five. You can count up on your hand as well. If you hold your hand out and you count two, well, each time you count, you're going to raise a finger. Two, four, six. 8, 10. You're going to see that you get 2, 5. 
Another example, let's do 15 divided by 3. So let's make a story. I've got 15 marbles and I wanted to divide it into three equal groups to play with. How am I going to do it? Well, remember, the number is 15 and my divisor is 3 because I divide by 3. So I'm going to make multiples of 3 by counting up in 3's while keeping the count of each multiple. So, let's start. My first multiple is 3 with my first count. Then 6. Then 9. Then 12. And finally I get to 15, the number that I started with. And I would see that I now have 5 counts. Count on your hand again to see. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. So I've got five fingers raised. That means that my answer will be five. So 15 equally divided by three will be five. Let's do 20 divided by four. So I'm first going to see that 20 is my number. Four is my divisor because I divide by four. So I'm going to count up in multiples of four while keeping count of each multiple. So let's start with our counts. 4, 1 finger raised, 8, 2nd finger, 12, 3rd, 16, 4, and finally, doing one more multiple of 4 gets us to 20, and we've counted 5 multiples. So my answer again is 5. Let's do this example, a little bit more trickier. 50 divided by 5. I'm still going to see that 50 is my number. 5 is my divisor, so I need to divide 50 equally by 5 by doing multiples. So I'm going to go counting the multiples. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 50. I got to 50 and I see that I counted 6 multiples, so my answer is 6. So this is a very easy way for any beginner to just start doing division by counting up in multiples while keeping count of the multiples counted. So if we use our hand in this one, 5, first finger, 10, 15, 20, 25, 50. I'm going to see I've got six fingers. So the count is six to get to 50. So my answer is six. If you found this video helpful, please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out any other videos that might be useful to you. Thanks for watching.